Well, the Reach Out Lab is an entirely new initiative. It's a, it's a project which is partly teaching and partly research. Uh, the teaching is to encourage young people, school children, to come into a university and to do practical science. And the research is to measure the impact that that has on them and their teachers, and also the impact that it has on the university. What we know from research is that practical science, doing experiments, making explosions, doing things which are slightly dangerous or risky, is the thing that really turns children on, which excites them. In school, usually the teacher does all the making stuff and then we just look at what happens inside. Over here, completely different. Just us doing all the work by ourselves. We want to follow up our children over 10 years and see what happens to them as a result of exposure, either for a short time or a longer time in the laboratory. Secondly, we want to see what the impact is on the teachers and to see whether it changes their teaching methods and whether or not there are things that um, help them to do career professional development as a result of contact with a really good university. One of the best things is that the vocabulary, they're all using all the scientific terms and they're having to really think about what they're doing and they're all cooperating and they're totally engaged and they're just loving it and it gives them a bit of an insight into what they'll be doing when they leave primary school because we don't have these kind of labs. A very important issue is what effect it has on our undergraduates, whether in fact more of them get involved with the idea of teaching. I came from a local comprehensive um, and I was given the opportunity to come on a summer school here at Imperial um, from the outreach department. Um, in it I was able to experience different sciences which I wasn't able to experience at school, which was very nice. Um, and it actually sort of gave me the incentive to apply here to Imperial College. I came here and did my uh, undergraduate uh, maths degree and when I was there I decided that I wanted to sort of give back uh, what was given to me so I volunteered in comprehensive schools you don't usually get the opportunity to um, take part in these kind of activities. As you can see, we have state-of-the-art technology and um, lab, lab space. Um, for, uh, it's a multidisciplinary space um, where we can run a whole bunch of activities, um, such as biology activities, chemistry activities, engineering activities. Um, this is quite nice to be able to enhance the uh, curriculum from uh, comprehensive schools and schools in general um, here at Imperial College, which is obviously an important place to do, come and do science. I think that this will be a really successful project if we encourage other universities to take up the cudgels and do what we're doing. We have abilities to broadcast from the laboratory. We can do master classes, for example, and already there are a number of countries that would like to participate. What we're seeing already is an incredible enthusiasm that you just don't see in the classroom. Uh, there's a wow factor about the laboratory, and it's immediately obvious the moment you walk in. So, what do you think is going to happen to the water inside this plant when we put it into liquid nitrogen? Hands up. These kids are enjoying the science, and there's a sense of wonderment as well, and that is really a great achievement, I think. It was much more fun and exciting than at school. Because you're actually able to see what's for yourself, what was going on. OK, now if you could smash that for me, please. Wow. This could be, you know, one of the most important initiatives in getting school science advanced. It's quite unlike anything else that goes on in the UK. And it's really exciting, um, and the enjoyment is obvious and physical and you can see that the teachers are as inspired as the children. If we continue to do that then I think we're bound to have succeeded.